Footnotes and Endnotes. This is the typical Word document and what I want to do is I've got the words floppy disk here within the document and I'll click directly after that. What I want to do, I want to insert uh, a footnote basically explaining that floppy disks are now obsolete. So I've clicked just after the uh, point where I want to insert the, uh, um, the footnote. So I go to where it says references. I go to where it says insert footnote in the footnote section here. It automatically takes you down to the bottom of the page here and it automatically names it as or numbers it as one. So I just type in the text um, no longer used. Now if we go back to the top here you can have a look you've got the word floppy disk it's automatically got the one after it and that one relates to this one down here. So if I want to insert another footnote, maybe um, I've got this phrase here called random access memory, which uh, is short for RAM. I could put a little footnote in, um, so if I click just after this, I can click there, make sure the references tab is selected, go to where it says insert footnote here in the footnote section. It automatically puts the two in here, and down here I can put... Um, short for or rather also called RAM so basically I've got an explanation of what random access memory is short for as you can see it appears down here so that's basically how you um, insert the footnotes it's uh, really really simple you just got to remember to click first where you want it to appear do that before you start clicking on the uh, insert footnote button uh, and then it will work uh, what is an operating system? If I want to put something in there, I can go to uh, insert footnote and example is Windows. And you'll notice that's been automatically labeled as a three. And uh, if we look up here, sure enough, the three has gone in there. So basically it's, it's as simple as that, very easy to use. Editing and formatting footnotes. Here we've got a document and at the bottom we've got some footnotes. If I want to edit the text in these footnotes I can just simply, um, let's say I want to remove that bit, I just simply select it and delete it. And uh, you can make any sort of changes you want. If you want to use all caps, and delete that bit. Basically, you just edit it as you would with normal text. So it's as simple as that, and the same with this one here. Um, maybe you might want to update this to include um, or um, Windows 8, for instance. So talking about Vista. Um, so basically, that's how you make those changes there. If you want to, you can also change the formatting. So for instance, if we click on References, within the footnotes section, if you click on the more button here, this gives you more options. So for instance, instead of this numbering scheme one, two, three, let's say you wanted say uh, ABC, you'd select that. You wouldn't click on insert because that could insert um, a new footnote. You just simply click on apply. And as you can see, the numbers have changed. So as I say, to do that, you click on the more button here. This brings up the options here and basically you can make changes as you wish. And uh, that's basically how you uh, edit and format the footnote options. Inserting endnotes into a document. Here we have a typical document. I'll click just after the point where I want the endnote number to be displayed. So in this case, we'll click just after the word floppy disk. Click on the references tab. And though, even though we're going to use an endnote, we still use the footnotes section here. But I simply, instead of clicking on where it says insert footnote, I click here where it says insert endnote. This will take you to the end of the document because it is an endnote. And there I can type in something like um, floppy disks are no longer used. And as you can see, basically it's put the number in there. We've uh, typed in the text there. And if we go back to the original part of the document where we inserted the endnote, 
you can see sure enough it's inserted the one there. So if we inserted um, further end notes it would basically give those a number of 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and so on. Simple as that. Editing and formatting end notes. Here we have a document if we go towards the end of the document those are our end notes there and these relate back to uh, items within the, uh, the main document here. So as you can see just here we have the number 1 after the word floppy disk. So if we scroll down again so we can uh, see the actual end notes. If you want to um, make changes to, the, to these it couldn't really be easier. Um, so let's say we wanted to change the second one which talks about most likely are using Windows XP or Windows Vista. So we'll change Vista to Windows 8. So we'll just update that. And as you can see you just edit it like normal text. If you want to you could make formatting changes so instead of having 1 and 2 you could have something like A and B or you could use Roman numerals. In order to do that click on the references tab over here, click on where it says uh, footnotes here and click on the more button. It automatically detects the fact you've got endnotes rather than foot footnotes here. If you want to change the format you can just use something like uh, ABC. Be careful not to click on insert because that could insert um, a new endnote. What you want to do is just simply click on where it says apply. And as you've seen it says A and B now. If you wanted to use, say, Roman numerals instead, again, you'd go to the footnotes section here, click on the more button here. You would, um, from here, select the uh, Roman numerals, click on apply, and as you can see, it's now using Roman numerals. Converting footnotes to endnotes. Here we have a document, and as you can see, just after the word floppy disk, we've had uh, a footnote inserted here, and we go down to the bottom of that page, there you are, you've got the, uh, the footnotes at the bottom. If we go down to the end of the document, which is here, you'll see there's no endnotes. So if you want to convert the footnotes into endnotes, all we do is you click on the References tab here. Within the Footnotes section, you click on the More button here. This brings up the Footnote and Endnote dialog box. And you'll notice there's a Convert button here. If we click on that, basically it says Convert all footnotes to endnotes. Click on OK, and when I click on OK, keep your eye on this bit here. I'll click on OK, close that, and basically you can see that the, um, the footnotes that were down here have now become endnotes. Converting endnotes to footnotes. Here we have a document. As you can see, there's nothing here, so we haven't got any footnotes. If we go all the way down to the bottom there and then back up here, you can see we have some endnotes at the end of the document. So to convert these endnotes into footnotes, simply click on where it says References. So you click on the References tab. Within the Footnotes section, you click on the More button here. This brings up the uh, Footnote and Endnote dialog box. And then you just click on this button here that says Convert. And in this case, it says, do you want to convert all endnotes to footnotes? So keep your eye on this bit here, which are the endnotes when I click on the OK button. I'll click on the OK button now. As you can see, they've disappeared from there. If I close this down and we go down to the bottom of the document, you can see there's nothing there, nothing there. But if we go back to the top here, you can see what were endnotes have now been, been converted to the footnotes.